Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wolverines have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Michigan Stadium in Dazzling, Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan Hines has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. It's fielded at the two, and he's tackled at the 23. Campbell's, I'm sure, knows that when he comes on the road, he's going to get this kind of reception, but it seems like he feeds off, and it really doesn't bother him that much. I'm with you, Brad. I, I'm watching this guy play, whether it's been at home or on the road this year. One thing that has just stood out is his consistency as a quarterback, and I, I, I think his game seems to almost elevate when he gets on the road. And we've seen that over the years from guys where they just get so focused and they feel so challenged because they're on the road and people are doubting them that sometimes they play better. And he's done that. We'll see if he can do it again today. From their own 34-yard line, first down. Room around the corner. He's into the open field. That tackle could have saved a very big play. Boy, everything seemed to come together on that play. They had the right call, good blocking, and an excellent run all on one down. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. There's a strike complete. He's down. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Not over here. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Pull down. Pull down. Hey, look for you. Back to the back. Look. Look. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. throws it away. Tackle made at about the seven-yard line. That play could not have come at a better time. That was absolutely the perfect time to go with that play on fourth down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he tackles him hard at the six-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. middle tight end touchdown a nice play as the offense gets it through the air yeah they've had some success in their short passing game so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10 
he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. And for North Texas, they've won two straight. Hester's execution in the passing game was spectacular. He had three touchdown passes in this one. The Mean Green storm home with a victory, 38-21. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. You know, he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. He scrambled. And he is drilled at the 40. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Williams, left side, tackle at the 41-yard line. Game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. They need to get it out to the 50. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43. Second down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. is left they tackle him there and he's still going to be short he gets back to the line of scrimmage on the halfback toss so they're going to go for it here we're through one quarter boilermakers with a touchdown lead To the action now here in the second quarter. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. They don't get it. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. 
With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Purdue up seven points. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good game, six yards. Six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 48. Ramsey's on the tackle at the 48 yard line. First down. Quick throw to the tight end. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. to the receiver incomplete now he tries to buy some time they'll bring him down at the 35 that's a deal five on the way first down from the 35 yard line First down. Steps out of bounds at about the 31. That makes it second and six. Purdue is up a score. Scrambling around. Dives for extra yardage. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice run to the outside. That brings him second and five. From the 13-yard line, second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Just throws this one away. It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Purdue is up seven. He's taken down at the five. Purdue can make this a two possession game with this field goal.
kicks away, and he got it. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. SMU in front, 13-6. All right, thanks, Reese. Walker, Walker looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, I'd take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Slings it out there incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 29. to go. Ball on their own 42. Nice grab on the play. And down he goes at the 49. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He's tackled right around the 46-yard line. So he'll pick up the first down on that pass to the receiver. Since he only needed a few yards, the little dump ball pass worked to perfection. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down right around the 40. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Fumble! And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. Purdue's got a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? But if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, 
it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, does, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Fielded at the four. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Purdue's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Tailback brought down for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Gaining three yards. That makes it 37. the stop at the 38-yard line. Hines is the punter. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Got some open field. Campbell picks up about seven yards there after keeping the ball on the option. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He might have a chance. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. That's good for a of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Fights forward to about the 40. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 40. comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt him? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's good for a game. That brings him second and five. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. field out of bounds around the 43 yard line it's 
It's the tailback. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. He's into the open field. Tackle at the 31-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 18. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19 yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. The five. And he's taken down at the four. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. goal and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again everybody bunched up tight defensively caught end zone for the touchdown How the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. The draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The football flying all over the lot in the Big 12. The Cougars, they believe in the adage, pass the lead, run to win. They pass, they lead with the first touchdown of the game. The Cougars on top, 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Michigan, Michigan kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He scrambled. Decides to slide. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. 10-7, Purdue. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Purdue is up a field goal. Throws a strike over the middle. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. First and ten. Ball on the 45. Now he tries to buy some time. And they get the sack. That's a loss of three yards on the ball. That'll be the second and 12.
Second down and 12. Ball on the 42. He's tackled the 39-yard line. right intercepted they'll bring him down around the 45 yard line that interception breathes new life into this team I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass it obviously wasn't open this quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in the game like this from the 45 yard line it's first down Got it, and brought down immediately. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Now he's scrambling. He's got the corner. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. To the 10. Knocked out of bounds at the 6. to capitalize on the big run. It's now first and goal. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Here we go, D, get off the field. Less than three minutes in the game. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 45-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And down he goes at the 31. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. go to the back and he's hit immediately in the backfield from their own 30 yard line second down gets to around the 42 and a quick throw and they push him out at the 46 gaining 12 yards first down we've got a first and 10 ball on the 46 Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. Throws 
quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. They'll get him for a loss. Waiting the return. He fields the punt at the 13. He's tackled at the 22. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. down at the 23-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. It's on the ground. Picked up by the defense. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play... The ruling, the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. Purdue's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Under a minute left in the game. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 46. Purdue's called their final timeout. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. It's second and 12. Ball on the 49 yard line. He takes a knee. Scoring points was a special occasion on this day. It's final, 14-10, Michigan. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.